In this video, we will cover Biodata Catalyst powered by Picture and how to filter on a variable to build a cohort using this platform. Picture allows you to search for and filter on decoded variables in studies within Biodata Catalyst. This is because Picture opens the data files and maps them to the data dictionary, saving you hours of data preparation. This allows you to start searching and filtering on the variables in Picture using the Picture User Interface or API to create your cohort of interest. There are two types of variables in Picture, categorical and continuous variables. Continuous variables refer to any variables that have a numeric range of values. For example, body mass index with a variable range from 10.1 to 40.3 is a continuous variable. Categorical variables refers to any variables that have categorized or discrete values. For example, have you ever had asthma with values yes and no is a categorical variable. Note that the internal picture data load process determines the type of each variable based on the data. Though the process for applying a filter to each type of variable differs slightly, the picture interface makes it easy to build your cohort. Let's review an example of how to filter on each type of variable. In this example, we are going to build a cohort of those that participated in the Framingham Heart Study, known as FHS, with a minimum body mass index of 25, a continuous variable and a categorical value of having smoked, a categorical value. In picture, you can see the results panel on the right-hand side of the screen. In the results panel, the data summary box displays the number of participants you have access to and can apply filters to. As filters are applied, the filters will be displayed in the added variable filters box and the number of participants in the data summary box will update. Let's apply our first filter, body mass index, which is a continuous filter for the Framingham Heart Study, also known as FHS. As we can see here, we have searched for my term of interest, body mass index. We have also applied the FHS study tag and the continuous tag to narrow down the search results. For more information about finding variables in picture, please view the basics finding variables video. Let's say that the variable we want to filter on is FM 537 body mass index. By clicking on the variable, we can see information about the variable before applying a filter to the variable. When we click on the variable from the search results, a new modal opens to show the details about the variable, including variable name, accession, description, and type. The dataset name, accession, and description, and the study name and accession. Now that we've identified the variable we want to filter, FM 537 body mass index, we have two options on how to open the filter modal. Option one, from the variable modal, we can click the filter icon next to the variable. Option two, click on the variable filter icon from the search results. Now that we have a variable filter modal open, we can apply our continuous filter body mass index with a minimum of 25. For continuous variables, we can enter only a minimum, only a maximum, both minimum and maximum to get a range, or leave both minimum and maximum blank to include participants with any value. For our example, enter 25 in the minimum field and click the add filter to query button. We have applied a filter to the variable, so the number of participants has changed from over 240,000 to 716. Additionally, we can see that the filter was added in the added variable filters box. We have now applied a filter to the continuous variable. 
Now let's apply a categorical filter. We want to find FHS study participants that responded to the question, Interim History of Smoking, Smoke Cigarettes. As we can see here, we have searched for my term of interest, smoke. We have applied the FHS study tag and the categorical and cigarettes tag to narrow down the search results. Again, for more information about finding variables in picture, please view the basics finding variables video. Let's say that the variable we want to filter on is FB86, interim history of smoking, smokes cigarettes. We can click on the filter icon to open the variable filter modal. We can see that this is a categorical filter because the values are returned in a text form. For categorical filters, there are two options for applying a filter. We can either click the checkboxes next to the values we are interested in, or we can click the select all button to automatically select all values. In this example, we want to select all. We have applied the filter to the variable and the number of participants has changed from 716 to 689. The filter summary now shows both the continuous and categorical filters. In this video, we have reviewed how to apply continuous and categorical filters in Biodata Catalyst, powered by Picture. Watch the next video in the series, Basics, Editing a Variable Filter, to learn more about how to use these variable level filters in Picture.